everyone, what's up? Today I have a brand new product review for you all about the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. Yes, they are brand new lipsticks from Jordana. I have tried a couple of their lipsticks in the past, but they never really impressed me until now. I have to say I really like these. So I got eight of these. There are 12 total, and I purchased mine at Walgreens. They were $2.50 each. I have seen some people say they found theirs at Kmart, so if you don't have a Walgreens, check your local Kmarts because I know they also sell lots of Jordana cosmetics, and if you didn't know Jordana is the same company as Milani so a lot of people were asking me how these compared to the Milani matte lipsticks which I also have been testing out lately for under five dollars I am so impressed with these lipsticks I think that they are seriously amazing quality amazing pigmentation my favorite thing about these lipsticks right off the bat is that they have great pigmentation so I want to show you guys swatches I'll get into that later but first I want to talk about the formula and the formula claims to be a modern matte finish so it's not a regular matte lipstick it's not as matte as say a you know MAC matte lipstick so I'll do swatches at the end of this video first I want to talk about the formula everything the claims like that so these claim to have a modern matte finish and on the display it says matte lipstick that's not going to dry your lips out you know it's supposed to be a comfortable matte lipstick which is where the whole modern matte name comes into play and I totally agree with that these lipsticks are actually really comfortable to wear and I was thinking at first they were gonna be really chalky because they're only you know 250 like I was kind of had a thing in my head I was like oh it's not gonna be that good but I was really surprised I mean these are such fantastic quality I really like these just as much as the Milani matte lipsticks which run for about six to seven dollars and if you didn't know Jordana and Milani are sister companies they're both made by the same company so if you're a fan of the Milani lipsticks which I know lots of people are you're gonna want to pick up a couple of these Jordana ones too so you guys see it I mean it's just really creamy and it's not like really heavy feeling it's actually kind of in the middle I would say you can still feel it but it's definitely comfortable so about lasting power these are not kiss proof if you come into contact with anything like eating or drinking it's definitely going to come off so you still have to bring it with you like if you're gonna reapply it but the thing the other great thing is that these reapply nicely like I've had this color on for a while maybe like an hour or two and you can just see like you can touch it up with no issues it's not going to like dry and then feel weird when you reapply it you know what I mean it's not like other matte lipsticks in the sense where sometimes if you try to reapply them during the day it can kind of like ball up and look really unflattering but with these they're so creamy you don't have to worry about touch-ups it's just a breeze yeah. so let's get into swatches I'm wearing this one called matte blush right now it's kind of like a medium brown it's like I don't know I just like this I don't have many lipsticks that are this shade and here's what it looks like layered a couple times on my hand you guys saw when I swatched it earlier that you do kind of want to layer these maybe like twice to get full color like to get opaque color you do kind of need to swipe them a few times this next one is called matte adorable yes it's very bright and it's like a cool tone pink it's very out there I mean it's really it reminds me of something from lime crime or like my NYX macaron lipsticks I just noticed something weird is that when I was touching this tube the ink was coming off so I guess that's another packaging issue just be careful with that so it does take a few times to get opaque coverage but once you do swipe it those two or three times it's just like bam full on color. Okay, here's one of my next favorites. It's called Matte Tease. I really like this because it's almost like a rose petal color. It's very nice. It's very neutral, but it's not too bright. I mean, it's not as bright as Matte Adorable or anything. It's still a very wearable shade, which is why I love this one. This is pretty much the one I've been wearing when I was testing these out. It is in a hand swatch. I love this shade. I feel like this one is going to be that shade that's going to look great on a lot of different people. Here's my next favorite one. It's called Matte Popular. It's a bright fuchsia. I love this one too because I think it's going to show up on pretty much any skin tone I love how bright this is I'll show you guys in a hand swatch really quick it's just one of those great awesome like staple pinks and it's just so bright it's really really bright I hope you guys can see it because in real life I feel like it's ten times brighter than it's showing up on camera okay so this one's probably my other favorite it's a really beautiful bright cherry red and it's called matte style I love this one I feel like this one is also going to look just great on everybody this is one of those shades that just like makes your whole complexion look brighter like not only your teeth but I feel like it just makes everything kind of pop and like stand out it's a very standout red I love it and let me show you guys how pigmented 
pigmented it is in a swatch. It's just really beautiful. And also, I forgot to mention that these lipsticks don't have any scent to them whatsoever. So this one is called Matte It Girl. It's a really beautiful, like, deep, almost plum. It's so nice. And I feel like I have MAC, maybe it's MAC Rebel or is it Girl About Town? I forget which one. But it reminds me a lot of one of those lipsticks. I forget which one exactly. So there's Matte It Girl in a swatch. I love this one. I feel like it's also really flattering. And it's just got that beautiful, like, purple tone to it. It's like a berry purple. I love this. And then this is the last shade I have called Matte Classy. It's kind of like a mauve lipstick, but on me it looks a little bit brown tone. See in the swatch right here, it kind of looks a little bit browny on me, but I'm sure it'll depend on um, what your skin tone is, how it's going to look on you. Alright guys, so that's it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. I love talking about lipsticks, and I will be having my Milani Matte Lipstick review coming very soon. I just have to test them out a little bit more. Mine is I totally love these lipsticks, especially for $2.50. I mean, that is so affordable. It's ridiculous. Like, I love the price of these, and I think the quality is also there. I mean, for a matte lipstick that is under $5, these really blew my mind. I love the pigmentation. is like, amazing, as you guys saw from the swatches, so I'm just really impressed with these. I hope you guys can try them out. If you have already, please let us know your thoughts in the comments, because I would love to hear from you all, and as always, thank you so much for watching.